Hey everyone, welcome to First Person Gameplay Commentary. My name is Drybear, and this time around I'm playing Kali in the left lane, and am I... What? What is going on here? Oh, okay, so, is Hao Kwong mid? Is what? The what? The oh, what the what the what? What the what? The, so I'm playing another game with uh, the Lords of War guys, uh, Snoopy Man and uh, T-I-L-R on uh, Bacchus Status Flyer. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> it was a little crazy with the Summon Kong game. Maybe it's the same, maybe it won't be. We don't know. I'm going to be giving the blue here to Arachne. To Snoopy Snoop. Um, so, Kali is a melee physical carry. Not really competitively viable just because her teamfight presence is extremely lacking. She doesn't really um, bring anything to the table besides damage. I mean, she has a very strong early game. She can dish out a lot of damage, and she's very good at killing people. But as far as a team fight goes, she doesn't bring much. She can come in with Frenzy, her ultimate, and do some damage. She can do some damage but uh, with her two, and she can heal. But beyond that, like she kind of just runs around and tries to kill people. But if she gets caught out, there's not a whole lot she can do about it. Um, so let's go ahead and go cover her abilities. Her passive is called Enrage. Um, she starts with 5% lifesteal. As she goes down uh, in HP, when she blocks drops below uh, one quarter HP, she gains 20% life steal, so a total of 25% uh, just passively if she's under uh, one fourth HP, so she can heal up pretty well. Her first one is called Kali Rage, it gives her bonus physical power and also increases her movement speed by 15%. On this, uh, I know, I almost jacked that. I almost jacked that. Whew. That was close. So, uh, Arachne's gonna be going mid, I'm going over left with uh, TILR again on Bacchus this time around. Super easy stuff. Um, second ability is called Blood Lash. This is a cone ability. Which do physical damage in a cone. Just that's literally all it is. Just a big cone push. Um, it can hit the whole wave. It's very very strong for pushing. Looking for an opportunity to harass there. And then the third ability ooh, is called the Mirror Freeze. Siphon Blood. It's an AOE heal. It'll drain life from three targets up to three targets around Kali. A lot of life actually. It does a lot. Um, top up, up to all three. See, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it does uh, causing physical damage to all. It does physical damage and drains the damage that it does up to. I was wondering why there was two numbers there. Every time they go for a freeze, I'm just gonna go for a poke. Even with Bakasura, they're not really pushing as hard as I would think they would. I want to make sure we push this down. That was a really good freeze. Good slow too. I didn't think they had a Creeping Curse, I should have checked. So Amir had a Creeping Curse, that was a really good freeze and a really good um, slow afterwards. And of course, uh, Bucks are chunking as well. Good interaction there. Can't really blame him for being so good. Bok is not really going to get out here. This is one of the reasons why Kali, I mean, she doesn't have mobility. She doesn't have, uh, you know, any big ultimate that you can wait for a big cooldown or anything like that. I mean, she pretty much just is what she is. Uh, he might go in here. I need to hit this whole wave if I can. They got a lot of minions. They got a lot of freaking minions. I don't really want to get frozen there. Back off of that. Just some free harassment. You need to watch out for those freezes. Got to realize that he has some good awareness. There's another freeze. Close kill there. Uh, so I know I could finish off the Bakasura before he could hit me. I had enough damage output um, from just, you know, my abilities. So I stuck around while he was chomping me with his ultimate. High damage burst. These guys are good. So this will be a good matchup for us. Hopefully this does pan out um, into a good interaction. Um, Snoopy's winning mid. And he's, <laughs> he's like at their Phoenix right now. For whatever reason. Your tower is under Remember the one does give you movement speed so you can pop that out of the well. Also pop it to 
get away. Um, and then, so her ultimate is called Frenzy. Uh, she'll spin in a circle and start doing physical damage. I think it's every point four, every point five seconds for five seconds, so a total of ten or ten hits. Um, good amount of physical damage if you stay on them the whole time. However, this does break you out of CC. So if you get stunned or you know slowed or anything like that, you can pop it out of the stun. Um, you don't have to be you know out of CC to be able to pop your ultimate there. Um, but it also will make you immune to CC for the duration. Didn't get enough burst damage on the Bakasura to kill him. I tried to burst him before he got over, but it didn't look like he was going to be able to get it. Or I was going to be able to get it anyway. So I kind of baited him out there. I went through the tower, and then he ended up just trying to commit to something that he really could not commit to. Raz here. He might try to ulti it. And Mir's back in lane. Ra went back mid, so that's fine. And his slow is down. His stun's up, but his slow is down, so that's good to note. Good to remember. The damage output is pretty good. And once I start getting items as well, I might lead with the uh, Void Blade instead of getting the, the Devourer's Gloves, just because I need the extra, the extra defense, especially against Bakasura. It's best on Arachne, so I'm gonna let it, let her have it, or him. It's really good on Arachne. I think she just keeps spamming, spamming, spamming. She basically keeps herself alive forever. Um, it's good on Kali too, but uh, it's better on her. So I'm gonna get um, Void Blade. And I think I'm actually gonna go Beads just because this this Amir is pretty good. Uh, the Beads it really only helps me with Amir. Um, I, I can pop the stun from Bacchus, but then the slow from Bacchus syrup, that's about it. I really do need, I don't know, I'll hold off then. Um, I might need uh, Sprint just to get away from Bakasura, or um, yeah, it's really, I don't really have a huge need for a specific item other than Aegis Amulet. I need Aegis Amulet specifically for Odin's ultimate, for Bakasura's ultimate, and for Ra as well. Definitely need Aegis Amulet for all those, all those players. Um, but beyond that, I mean, the beads for Amir, I can go for Creeping Curse, I can go for, is he going to come back? I hope it comes back. Easy mode. So now Odin's here. Uh, there's two builds you can go for. A lot of people will go for maxing out. I mean, you pretty much always max out your two first, uh, your Blood Lash. But uh, it's either you go into one, and this is the most common build, is you go two into one, just because the one will give you more movement speed and more physical damage bonus. So you can burst down single targets. However, if you are in a bad lane or you're losing the early game, you can max out your three instead to get uh, bonus uh, healing from your three and then keep yourself alive for longer. So that, that is also a viable option. See, I can push that whole wave down very, very easily. Hey, buddy. Uh, we can probably go steal. Is he going home? Okay. So I'm going to back off, find something to farm. I can go cover mid, uh, since it's so far pushed up, and then maybe take that damage buff if they're not paying attention. Looks like Bakasura is over in the right lane. Ra just came back. His ultimate should be back up by now. It's like a 70 second cooldown in the beginning, so. Somehow I didn't hit these. Somehow, some way. So then I can go back and cover the left lane. So I just got a free wave of golden experience and covered the tower for mid. Very important to do that. Covering the, the mid tower for your mid character when they leave. Just like huge. It really does save the day. Um, because the lane is so easy to push down. Especially against, you know, characters like Raw. Raw can just clear the whole wave. Um, and then, you know, leave it to be. You're cute. Those are going to die and push back. Been slain. That's too bad. Sorry. Push this up. Over here. Someone's coming. Bakasura was right. I don't know if he got owned or left or what. We shall see. It's just him and Bakasura. They're going to go for it. Easy 
You gonna dive? Oh, he's diving. That Bogasura got out of dodge. Bogasura got out of dodge so freaking fast. That was a good freeze. He's gonna ulti. He's dead. And then there's the Bakasura. This is where I love. God, I freaking love you. I know. I don't know what this feeling is. People come and help me. People help me. I was like, I gotta, I gotta dodge this Bakasura. I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much danger right now. And then all of a sudden, Ross probably on his way here. We do have a ward. I can probably get blue if he doesn't want it. That's the question. Does he want it? He's gonna get the CDR there. I'm gonna take the blue because I want it. I should have enough to finish my Void Blade now. Push it up. Boom. Oh, it's just me. Okay. He's actually going to take all those buffs. I think he left an egg or he has wards. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but that's good coverage. Now he knows if someone comes behind him. And by the coverage of the map, it's probably a ward, to be honest with you. Do I want beads? Or do I want sprint? I think I just want beads. I think I just want beads. So we're doing good. Uh, we're up by about 2.3k. Uh, so not really too worried. Um, looks like Vimana is not having an easy time. I mean, Bacchus is low level, but he's been feeding me hard. Like, he's giving me so much gold that it doesn't really matter what level he's at. Now I'm just super fed. Now I'm just super duper fed fed. Now I've got a fed bed. Fed bed, gotta lay in it. Leave. I can get that damage buff, actually. Do they want to get him here? Is he coming? Nope, he's going right. I'm gonna avoid the follow up freeze. There it is. Um, and I think we can just push this up. Bakasaur just left. Raz here, which is not good. So there's three mid. Bakasaur is heading right. I can overget this buff. It looks like Vamana is going straight for it. So then I'll get the CDR buff then. Don't want to take his buffs away. I don't want to take away his buffs. Boom. 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 Looks like they're heading over left. Bogusura might be doing blue. He head over this way and I know the damage buff is down for them. So I don't really know what he's up to over here. This should be down. And it is. Good. I'll clear the camp so we know. Oh, okay. Be right back. Well, Bogasaur's left, so we're clear. We are in the clear for this. And we're both so fed that this is going to die. Don't worry, Alquong's here. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, God. Arachne in a freaking pit is never good. There's that. Odin got away, unfortunately, but that's okay. Is he, he should have a hook soon. Oh, no! Oh, no. They don't really have any ultis right now. Ra's ultimate's down. Bakasaurus might be up, though. Uh, I know Odin's is down for at least probably another 30 seconds. 20 to 30 seconds. Be right. Retreat middle lane. Just gonna back off. I wonder if their blue's up. Their blue should be up by now. If it wasn't up before. Yeah. Maybe an easy pick for me. Is it up? It's gone. Damn. It should be spawning soon though. It's been down for a while. It's been down for a while. Oh boy. 
So, I mean, this is pretty much call. You can see how, like, when the team fight gets crazy, there's not a whole lot I can do, and I can't really get in to, uh, you know, do my burst or whatever. I don't really have... I mean, my ultimate's strong, uh, but it's not good for team fights. It's good for CC immunity, and that's really what it's for. CC immunity and some good damage, or AoE damage. But, I mean, that's it. Be right back. Someone's over here. Hey, Bacchus. He's probably warding, to be honest, or checking the blue. Most likely checking the blue. He saw me go that way, maybe. I was wondering about it. Box is here. Odin's here. Odin's ultimate is up, which I cannot get out of. That's good to know. Odin's coming in. Most likely going to ult now. There it is. Not a whole lot I can do now. Odin's in the fight. I can go right and farm. Get my health back up. That's going to be about it. Is he coming to kill me? Why? He's running away from Vamana, but Ra's going to come over. I'm just going to go home. Nothing to farm and nowhere safe to be right now. So I'll just pick this up. Not really the hugest deal in the world. They're getting kills left lane though, so that's good. This is good. So we're up by about 3k now. Uh, I was 2.6k before, 2.3k. Now we're up by 3k. Uh, so the gap's getting bigger, definitely. Um, you know, Vamana and Alkalong are having a tough time. But, uh, I and mean, we're doing so good. The problem is late, late game, Kali and Arachne aren't really that great. Arachne's here, so we might be able to get something. He's just going to leap if he can, but he freaking can't. Oh, that was close. That was so close. That was a little eager of an ultimate. And again, you see, I can't really do much right now. I'm just looking for an opportunity. They're going to run right into a mirror. Picked him off with that. Kind of needed him to land that slow there. Can he land the hook? Can he land it? Nope. Not gonna try. So I have the, the life steal from Arachne. She has the Soul Eater. Um, then I'll have my Devourer's Gloves plus my passive. He probably has an ultimate, to be honest with you. Here comes a mirror for the Frost Breath. Cut that corner tight. Middle tower got pushed, which is good. Um, unfortunately, Snoopy died. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Oh, God. That was scary. That was scary, scary stuff. It's very scary. That was scurry. Damn, nature, you scurry. Oh, Kong drops. This is not looking good for us. We still have a 3k lead, uh, just because we're farming so well. I need to come from the flank. My ultimate is up. So, I want this Bacchus to see me. He's going to go that way. Hopefully Odin runs right into me. Are they doing Gold Fury? Nope, they're just hanging out. Wow, he just got healed. Look at that. That's Solar Blessing for you. That is Ra's Solar Blessing. <laughs> I'm not going to just let you go. He's going to slow me and get out. Not a lot I can do about that. What I can do stop by real quick. That wasn't much of a heal, but it, it's enough. It's enough. I don't know if I got caught in this, whatever this is, but we need to kill this quickly. So they're gonna need my damage. Here comes Searing Pain. Not gonna be enough though. And we got it. Bakasura is right. 
Because Bacchus is never wrong. So there's a bunch of buffs on the left side of the screen. I'm going to go finish my farm off. I need 1400, I believe. 1400, boom! I need 1400 to finish off my Titan's Bane. Uh, then I'll be doing, oh my god. My friends. Arachne. This is, this is the problem with Arachne. He's got freaking nothing. I'm dead. <laughs> this is the problem with Arachne and Kali, especially on the same freaking team. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. So that's why Arachne and Kali are generally not picked. Um, it's just like... I mean, we're doing damage, and we're in there. It's just we can't really stop them from doing what they want to do, and we're just very susceptible to a lot a lot of forms of CC um, and damage output as well. I mean, just Kali and Arachne don't really provide much. Um, Arachne specifically is very, very good at isolating and in skirmishes and flanking, um, but in heads-up teamfights, she's not that great. And Kali is very good at killing and doing burst damage, but not really that great in a heads-up fight either. Uh, so that's kind of a big problem there. You see, I kind of went over to help him, but I was like, um, I'm... I'm gonna attack you and I hoped they would stop I was like hoping that my presence would be enough co to compel them um, luckily we got some kills out of it so not really the hugest deal um, we're still up by about 3k so still doing good in that factory uh, but beyond that I'm just gonna wait I'm just gonna wait get that extra little penetration extra little physical power and then we'll be good to go there we go it's good thing I, do, uh, I didn't do heart seeker this game it's a good thing. It's gonna be a good day. Oh god. Mid lane, there's a mirror. I might actually go Cheen's Blades because they're all going very, very tanky. Oh god, get out of there, dude! Rackney's over here. I think she's fighting Bakasura or is she by herself? There's their Bacchus. They're all so tanky, dude. I might need Cheen's Blades. Just because they're so freaking tanky, man. Dat creep and curse. Oh yeah, get on his head. Oh god. Oh god, don't only, don't only, don't only, don't only, don't only, don't only, don't only. Juked. God damn it. That's the problem. That is the one thing right there. That's the biggest problem with being on a US E server. 130 ping. It, like, on, in all intents and purposes, it does seem like I'm having perfect ping. It's just that situation right there um, where I get CC'd and there's like this really long delay where I can't pop beads. It just takes forever for me to pop beads. That's the biggest problem. It's just like, uh, and I can't do it. I was gonna be able to beads that, but now we're dead. Uh, the main problem is just we're not we're not really much... I mean, the only saving grace for our team is Arachne Kali, which isn't very strong. So, that's pretty much what's going on for us. But yeah, you saw how... I mean, if you want to like skip back in the video, um, the beads... I got stunned, and the beads weren't available for like, at least a second or two. Um, and then they finally came available, and I popped them. But I was spamming G that entire time. I just couldn't get the, the CC immunity off. I could have popped my ultimate, but even then, it's just like... It's that slight delay... That you won't really notice until those like clutch situations where you really need to pop it right when you get stunned. Um, I should have popped it preemptively, just knowing that the, that lag is there. But that's on me. That's on me. So we really just need to focus on like solo kills and objectives, because uh, we can't really win in a team up team fight. Because uh, our teammates aren't doing that great, uh, so we don't really have any any support. Um, and all me and Arachne do are just burst damage, and then we go for kills. That's all we're really doing right now, so we can't really afford 
to do anything but just uh, try to steal objectives um, and then go for individual kills. Uh, they're gonna there's they're warding. So I ended up doing that ward for free. Haha. -ha. Does he have another one? Ah, he does. His teammates are left, which is fine. That's not fine though. Freaking Bacchus is like anytime I play a carry, Bacchus is like the most annoying freaking character to face in the world. Especially a good box, because I hate good boxes when I'm playing a strong, strong carry. We're about to get flanked, dude. There's Bacchus. Your right tower is under attack. Oh, I'm drunk. Oh, I'm so drunk. Oh my god, dude. We're just... We just don't have any team fight. We got nothing. Like when this happens, like me and Rekki, we can't do anything. There's nothing we can do about that. We can't zone. We can't like. There's literally nothing. He Odin has an ultimate. I'm pretty sure. Um, so if he jumps on, I'm able to get something with this. Like, there's nothing we can do. We have no team fight prowess. We got nothing. This is why I don't have. This is why you don't have Arachne and uh, <laughs> Kali on the same team. This is why. I mean, there's really... Uh, Kali can go on a rampage in the early game and just stomp, 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 stomp. And then when it comes late game, she just kind of just stops doing things. Kind of like what's happening right now. Arachne is somewhat the same way. Arachne's late, late game isn't very strong. Um, but her early game is very powerful. And you saw how, like, you know, you know, me and Snoopy were just running around killing everybody. But there was, really wasn't much we could do in those team fights. Like... We really need Vamana to just be super farmed right now. Um, he's pretty far behind in farm. He's doing okay. And then Al Kuang just isn't doing anything. I mean, he's 0 and 6 went for Warlock Sash. He's pretty much just tanky. Um, we really need Al Kuang for damage. That's all. I mean, the fact that we have Al Kuang, Kali, and Araki on the same team is pretty bad because Al Kuang really doesn't provide much to the team fight other than his damage. Um, and the fact that he's behind is pretty much it. He's good at, you know, ushering people and keeping them away from certain areas. Like, he can, he can zone very effectively with his tornadoes. But if his tornadoes don't do enough damage to, you know, discourage people from going in the tornadoes then he can't zone at all like all his zoning potential is lost if he doesn't have any um if he doesn't have any damage which he really doesn't i mean he went for uh gem of isolation and warlock sash and then the obsidian shards so he does some damage um he has the good native uh, penetration from the boots but this is a good cleanup if we can get this this is huge i'm gonna help this out before i go over so those are phoenix minions that could push um hopefully get something here. If Bacchus can interrupt somebody. That sucks. At least we stopped their fire giant. Could have been bigger. Uh, we didn't get any kills. They didn't get any kills. Um, they didn't get fire giants. That was just a neutral, neutral exchange. Not too bad. So Bacchus was in left lane. We could probably gank left and then go grab that tower because that tower is very, very low. See if he's not coming in here to get this buff. I probably should save my two to get the last hit in case he does come in, but... And there he is. Uh, so I went in there just because his leap was down, um, and he didn't have an ultimate. So there wasn't really much more he could do to me other than basic attack, um, and he was missing a lot of those, so... Right there was a good opportunity for me to engage. Unfortunately, he had a sprint. I think I could have easily killed him if he didn't have that sprint. Um, but that's about it. That's about it. What it, what it comes down to. Be right back. Unfortunately, uh, we're still in this. Uh, if they if they if they slip up in any form or fashion, uh, we can easily uh, respond with uh, a cleanup. I mean, if they if they step out of line, Arachne and I are very good at picking off kills. So if they give us the opportunity to pick, we will be able to get it, guaranteed. Um, we're a lot of damage. We should just give it to him, to be honest with you. How did that hit me, dude?
So we got that pick, they didn't get the Gold Fury, so again, you see how like even a mirror just caught out is enough. Um, she should have a hook up soon. It's only a 30 second cooldown on the hook, so we might be able to just grab a hook um, on the tower and grab somebody. Unfortunately, that wasn't in time to stop him from backing. So we're just going to steal buffs. Uh, that left tower is going to go down even if Bacchus wasn't there, so that's fine. Um, I can grab this damage buff from the mid lane. Vamana is getting caught. Hopefully not. Your team has destroyed a left Are we going to steal Fire Giant? Is under on my way. So they're going to just distract as long as they can, and we're going to try and steal a Fire Giant, which is huge. Uh, this, again, this is what I was talking about earlier. We need to go for picks and try and steal objectives, because that's what Kali and Arachne are very good at. Stealing objectives and getting picks, which are very easily countered by a team that's playing cooperatively and sticking together. Uh, that's why they're not very good in competitive play. Uh, but in normal games where no one's really paying attention, it's very easy to just... Our minute... You're kidding. Our Minotaur's dying after, during all this. Ugh. Nice job. Good picks, though. I got a double inside the fire giant. We got the fire giant, and then we ended up getting the Bacchus, too, which is really good. So that was good picks there. Good stuff. Um, I'm gonna end up getting just a Deathbringer. The Cheen's Blades will really help me with the tankies. Um, and now we just need to defend the base as best we can. Just hold on! Hold on for dear life! Oh god. This is an epic game, dude. This is an epic game. Epic, epic game. I mean, this is what I should do. Just play with competitive players, but play like bad characters. And then everything will be peachy keen. So I have to get attack speed plus the penetration plus the, you know, pretty much everything. So this is a very, very stable build here. Um, and then the Cheen's Blades are really, really help with characters like Amir, like Odin, like, you know, anyone. They're all building a lot of HP. A lot, a lot of HP. Good physical defense as well. I might actually go... Mm. I have plenty of penetration with the Void Blade and the Titan's Bane. See the picks? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what Kali and uh, Arachne are so freaking good at. I don't want to get caught in uh, tower range by Odin. My ultimate is not really as long. I mean, it's, it's about 70 seconds ultimate uh, cooldown, so not really that great. Or not that, that big of a cooldown either, so... God, Box is so good at peeling. He's so freaking good at peeling, dude. That was a good ulti. Use that to heal back up. Bakasura is here. Just get the tower. Should have done that from the start. I don't know why it took me so long to get that tower. I can burn it down very easily. Oh, he's freaking going. Oh, if he got that hook, we gotta got a kill right there. There's not a whole lot we can do about this. Hopefully he survives. There's the belch. That's not gonna be enough. There's no objectives to get, uh, but we should back off. Our fire giant only is gonna be up for about 20 more seconds, and it's really our that's really our only advantage right now is the fact that we have fire giant buff. So hopefully nobody gets caught while I'm doing this. Don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught. That is that is getting caught. That's what getting caught looks like. If Snoopy goes, I'll go. I have the movement speed buff plus um, call these, so I'm very, very fast. Oh, 
He has an ulti, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to get caught in it, because I will die. Still have the movement speed buff. They can die this tower, so I'm not really safe here. Uh, if Baka dies me, I can kill him easily. Here's a mirror. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. God, that wall of justice, man. Baka's gonna be right here. Yep. He's tanky. What did he buy? High the Nemean line. I would have lost that duel. Good thing I was paying attention. There's gonna be a Bacchus right behind me and a Raw as well. My only opportunity here is to get out. Ymir's backing right there, uh, but I know Bacchus is there. So Bacchus was actually baiting me, uh, so it's a good thing I didn't go. Uh, I didn't know that he had uh, bought the High the Nemean line. I actually have three of them. They have one on Bacchus, one on Bacchus, and one on Odin. And then they have physical defense for Ymir. My god, they're countering me and Arachne so well. They're very heavy on physical defense, and then they're very, very heavy. God, they have... Your right tower has been destroyed. I mean, we do have... Look at our, our split. The only magic, real magic damage that we have is Alquong. He's not doing that great. So they don't really have a need to focus on anything else. So not really... I mean, it's not like they're just countering specifically me and Arachne. It's just that that's really all our team has. Are they doing it? Nope, he just warded. That was a ward. So here comes Ra, Bacchus from behind. Be right back. His leap is down. Mirrors behind us. Don't even want to get caught in this. If we can silence him, he's dead. There it goes. And he got a range of his ultimate. He might cut a corner. And that's really all the risk I need to take right there. Bamana's doing a movement speed buff right now? Come on, dude. Bamana. Bamana! <laughs> Is this guy free? He's still doing it! He's still doing it! No way! He still did no He didn't even realize. He didn't even realize. Is he serious? He was facing outward. He was facing outward. And Dude. D stop. Go. Go. Attack. Turn around. People are dying around. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. That was ridiculous. I've never seen someone be so oblivious. He literally was doing the movement speed buff. I was dying like 15 feet to his left. And then he finished the buff anyway, and then just walked to mid. He's like, nope, I'm not gonna, nope. Nope. Not gonna do nothing. So, I mean, he saw me run from mid towards the movement speed buff, and he just kept doing it. And then I got ulted by Odin. Used the H amulet, and then got destroyed by him. Even though all he does is build, um, mostly defense. I mean, this gives physical power, that gives physical power, that gives physical power, but... They're doing Fire Giant. Oh god. And then he walks into it. Oh god. You are a baby of babies. You are the babiest baby I've ever babied. If he dies here. Oh my god. Oh my god. My brain. He's trying to wrap around what is going on right now. They have the fire giant buff, so we really can't fight them. He's gonna get frozen soon. Good wall, freeze. Yeah, Fire Giant, there's the ulti. He's not going to get out of that ulti, and then Boxer's going to kill him. So now it's down to me and Bacchus. Let's see if we can't uh, push this wave up and just keep it from... Bacchus Rift. One of them, you know, if they weren't close enough, I could have killed that Emir. I just wanted to poke him until someone showed up. It's really what my only goal was. I wanted to see if I get a kill there. Again, it's called the strength. is just flanking... Getting kills, getting picks, doing burst damage. It's really all I can do. Um, if you have like a really strong team comp and everyone's doing their job and everyone's working really well together, or it's just the enemy team isn't doing very well either, uh, you can 
pretty much just do whatever you want. But so I need to go right here because Amir's in to my left. So I'm gonna cut right. Uh, and then again, Boxer got freaking high the Nimi lion, dude. That item is so. That's gone. It's just us three now. I'm dead. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. I have no T fight presence whatsoever. Yeah, jeez. I'm down for a while. See if they can't do this. Baby's in there. Just attack him. Attack him, dude. What are you? What are you? What are you afraid of? Stick to him. <laughs> what? Attack somebody. There you go. Okay. Nope. Don't attack the air. The air is not going to do anything for you. Why would you ult now? Nobody's attacking you. No no one can help you. He's going to get nothing. His ult's down now. That was a silly time to ult. That was a very silly time to ult. Frozen. No ultimate. Here comes a slow. Damage output to follow up. Here's a stun. Not going to back off. It's a good wall. Uh, they just have support tanks. Their damage backed off. Ra's back. Bakasura's missing. I'm up in 28 seconds. What an epic game. What an epic game. I don't know if we're going to pull this out, though. Uh, the later it goes, the less me and Arachne can do. And, of course, support tank Bacchus is doing what he can. Alquong and Vamana are just having a really tough game. Alquong is not that great in the side lanes. Um, and definitely not... Oof. It's close. We just need picks, man. And the fact that we have... Alquang that's underfarmed, and then uh, Kali and Arachne the same team means we have no. You can see how, like, once they go in, there's nothing we can do to stop them. We have no freaking team fight. We have no team fight. That gem of ISO. There's nothing that we can do. I mean, there's literally not. I, I can't. They all have higher than Nemean Lion, and then I have no team fight. So I, I'm really 100% relying on my physical damage, which I don't do any because they all have uh, very, very heavy physical protection. So I'm just like perfectly countered here. I mean, I can keep the minions off the Minotaur, and I can wait for an opportunity to gank somebody. But beyond that, man, I can't hit anybody, man. Come on! Oh, so close. Almost freaking got him. Gotta go in on this, because they're going after the Minotaur. Oh my god, they have so many minions! Minotaur, just go home, dude. There you go. There's... Second to last Phoenix. Are they really gonna go over and try and get this? Ross behind me, I might wanna get... Nope, he's going home. No ra. I think everyone went home. I'm just gonna back up. I can't even like. Nothing to do, my friends. There's nothing to do. So this is actually, you know, a good opportunity to just show you guys, like, really why people say Kali isn't very good, or why Kali and Arachne aren't picked in competitive games. Um, this is this, this is. A great exemplification of why they are not picked uh, it's just because like there's when when stuff goes down there's not a whole lot I can do about it I mean I, I can jump in but a well put together team that's working together and they have good support tanks um, and really all I have is physical damage which you can see is very easily countered uh, by the high Nemean lion and then all the physical protection that they have so it's just like um I'm at my my peak here Enemy missing. Careful. Just pushing this up. I can ward the fire giant. I bought wards just so we could have some kind of semblance of... Oh, here they are. I'm going to cut right tight so I don't get stunned by that. Uh, he's pretty much... Once he pops his ulti, are we getting some damage here? 
That was a really good wall. Good picks, good picks. If we push this in for a couple Phoenixes, I don't know if it's worth it to get Fire Giant. We might need to just get some pushes in. Freaking hate how good at peeling Bacchus is. I'm gonna kill myself on his freaking body. He's just so fat. I can't kill any of them. They're all too tanky for me to burst. And that's all Kali. Oh my god. Does he have an ulti? Oh, Rackney might die here actually. Where am I at? Probably not the best spot to retreat, but I don't think they'll jump over. This is all we got, man. Fire Giant's dead, so that's good. I was hoping that would happen. Uh, Gold Tree is up, I think. I don't know. I, we really don't have uh, map control at this point, so we can't really, you know, tell you. Can't really tell you. Um, and I'm capped out. I mean, I can, I can sell my Cheen's Blades and get uh, a Rage and just try and go for burst damage on the squishies, but they don't really have, I mean, look at, I mean, you have Ra, who went for a pretty tanky build. I mean, look at this, I can't even hurt him. Oh my god! Hopefully that hit him. That was a good ult, though. Like it did hit him. So we're getting good picks. Our Mintar's dead. Is that gonna die? Is that gonna die? Oh god, oh god, look at the Mintar. No, no, this is not how we go out. This is not how we go out. Defend it, dragon! Oh! Oh! Minotaur! I am so sorry. We are you okay? Do you want some juice? Do you want some soup? I, show me where it hurts. Let's go to the ER right now. Right now. Let's go to the ER. I don't want you falling. Stand tall, soldier. Just like that. Just don't ever leave the base again, please. Can't afford to. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. Kill him. Oh, God. No. 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 Minotaur, you let me down. You let me down, Minotaur. Let me down. 